Today, I'm going to be bringing to you how you can be set free from the, from the oppression of the evil ones. Let us pray. Our precious daddy, Lord, we just thank you for such a time as this. I pray that you verify your word in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I soak this word today with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, I, I've, I've seen people cast out demons and uh, in fact, I, I want to bring a light to this and, uh, and on how you can cast out uh, demons from your life. Before you do that, you have to understand what it is. Praise God. Demons are spirit beings without a body which seek a body to live. They seek a body to live. Demon cannot operate without a body or thing. Praise God. They do not care whether they live in a person or an animal. But the, 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 the devil or the demon, they don't care where they live. They can live in animal or they can live in the life of a person. Praise God. So for them to be able to carry out the, the art and the destruction. How can we cast out them out? That is the question. How can we cast it out? Mark chapter 16 verse 17 says, And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongue. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Satan and his demon leaves a man. Once you are born again with the power of the Holy Ghost, you have the authority and dominion over every contrary spirit that is a contrary spirit that wants to navigate in self the name of jesus christ you cast out demon and you receive a new life in christ the hope of glory praise god one of the function of christian is to cast out and to have dominion over anything that causes fear in your life. As a Christian, God has given you the power. He has given you the grace to cast out whatever that wants to cost you fear in life. Praise God. First John chapter 4 verse 4 says, He who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. So greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Let me tell you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth has given you the power to overcome his personality alone a life in your life is able to scare the devil away from your life so you have to acknowledge him you have to acknowledge Jesus Christ in your life praise God Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 says it says for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principality against power against the rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in a heavenly place you see we wrestle not against flesh and blood it, but against principality is not your 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 family member or somebody that said you will see it or somebody is framed. No, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principalities and powers, rulers of darkness in high places, in heavenly places. These are these are spirit that you don't see you don't see them but if you have a spiritual eyes you can visualize them spiritually but you don't see that is why you don't start fighting somebody that just says something to you you feel that that person is the satan of your life is the demon of your life no human being we don't fight against ourselves as a christian as a being you don't start fighting your your neighbor your or your family member or somebody you feel that person is wicked then when you are praying you are praying against that person no that is why warfare prayer we are as a warfare if you are praying a warfare prayer you just have to be very careful that you don't have somebody in mind i always teach people when you are praying this prayer back to send that my enemy die look it's not the person that you have quarrel with or you don't love or you don't like let me tell you a warfare prayer is not against human being is against principalities rulers of darkness in every places that you don't know them you don't see them you can't you can't say this is the person 
So he's, uh, he's there because he uses animal, uses anything, uses human being. So you don't even know the person. So you don't have to start praying against human soul. You pray against every power, evil power that want to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Praise God. That is why you must get an understanding. For you to cast out demons, you have to get a, a, a good understanding of who he is. Because if you don't get understanding, you will start fighting against human being and start praying against somebody that even love you. Yes, uh, you can pray against somebody that even love you, thinking the person don't love you. That is why your mindset is very, very important in terms of warfare. Let me tell you, our mindset is very, very important when you want to pray a warfare prayer. You want to set yourself at liberty. You want, you, you know that there's something wrong in your life. You know that there is something wrong. Some, there are evil spirit maybe operating your life in your environment you want to cast it out don't start looking at neighbor friends or people around you no set your mind let it be free that the lord god is the one that is going to fight the battle for you through his son jesus christ as you begin to launch you must make sure that you are born again one you have forgot forgiven as many that have feel that has offended you before you pray a warfare prayer you must you must, you must forgive as many that has offended you, that you know that you have offended or you have, that has offended you. You have to let go because if you don't let go, the devil is going to manipulate those things. He's going to bring it to your eye to feel that they are the problem of your life. And then you will be praying and praying against your own self. Praise God. So first, I always encourage forgive because forgiveness is divine. Forgiveness is not because the person has come to say sorry to you. Forgiveness is because you want you want your mind to be free. Yes, as the moment you let your mind to be free, then you launch out and you, you see that you get the result, that the, the deliverance that you need. It's not about laying on hand or cast a demon when your heart is full and polluted with things that are negative, things that are bad, this, evil wrongdoing no you have to be set free your mind has to be set free for you to be able to pray and to break loose praise god that is why you must understand casting that demon is not something you just engage on it's something that you have to get a spiritual understanding of it because it, this is very crucial this is very crucial because the devil himself knows that many Christians are not born again. A lot of people are not born again. They don't have the Holy Spirit in their life and they keep on engaging in warfare and we keep on not getting the result and people are getting injured. So praise God. I want to, you to get this understanding. I want you to, first of all, if you are not born again, oh, Father God, that is the starting point. You want freedom. You want to be set free from the oppression of the devil, the Satan, and his demon. You have to be born again. Yes, it's a must. That is what Jesus still told Nicodemus. You must be born again. Without you being born again, you cannot assess the throne of grace. You cannot assess deliverance. Yes. If you have been polluted, you need to be born again. That is the first. Born again means confessing your sin, repenting, and total change to give you new life in Christ, the hope of glory. Then the battle becomes the Lord's own. Uh, that is why Exodus, in the book of Exodus chapter 14, verse 14, he said, the, the, the Moses told the children of Israel, I said, God will fight for you and you will hold your peace. It's God that fight battle. You have no battle to fight. It's God that fight a child of God's battle. So the battle is of the Lord. Praise God. So that is why if you are not born again, this is a crucial hour I want to no, I want you to confess this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I recognize I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sin. I repent of all my wrongdoing, my action, my words. The words that I speak, I repent of it all. Today, I confess you as my Lord. Be my master. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I want you to have faith that the Lord has forgiven you your sin. You are a brand new man. Look for a, a Bible-believing church and attend. 
Praise God. Is your sister, Prophetess Mrs. Rosalind Waifo, the senior pastor of New Life in Christ Evangelical Ministry. Praise God. God bless you. Amen.